Countless champions have been crowned throughout the history of competitive Yu-Gi-Oh! But what about the underdogs, the dark horses, the decks that upon first glance make you question everything you thought you knew about the game? In this series, both MBT and myself will be showcasing some of Yu-Gi-Oh!'s wackiest unsung heroes. Each episode will feature new decks, new strategies, and the results will be unpredictable. You've seen the history of Yu-Gi-Oh!, but this is the history of Jank. If you want 5% off any singles or sealed product, click the affiliate links in the description and use code SEMO5. And clicking the TCG Player affiliate link before you shop helps support us to provide you with more amazing content. Folks, we've reached the bottom of the barrel and we are still scraping. Thanks to the kind folks at TCG Rewind for supplying these truly heinous decks for us. One thing that I've missed on History of Jank and History of Yu-Gi-Oh! is the wheel, and Jank seems like a perfect time to bring it back. As a result, the four decks that I have the potential to play and the four decks that Alex has the potential to play will be decided for these next couple of episodes by a spin. So let's see what our first match is going to include. If you think you know what this deck is going to look like, think again. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. It has been a while since we have had the wheel for History of Jank. Joseph and I had eight decks split between the two of us, four and four, and we decided, you know what? We don't know what matchups we want to do. Let's bring the wheel back and let the wheel decide because who doesn't love a good wheel match? And thankfully, because of the way we did this, there should not be any mirror matches. Uh, so let's see what we get for our first match here. And it looks like we are going to be going for Fortune Ladies. Well, folks, welcome back to another episode of the History of Yu-Gi-Oh! Today we're going to be looking at one of the best decks of the 2011-2012 Yu-Gi-Oh! season. I'm speaking, of course, about Wind Up. I'm pretty sure. It, let me just take a big sip of water and see what series we're filming for today. Okay, so not exactly the wind-up you're used to. You see, wind-up wasn't historically powerful until they had had a couple of set releases under their belt. The reason for that is... Early windups sucked. Sure, Windup Factory was released in the first wave, and it rivals even Black Whirlwind in terms of raw card advantage, but that card advantage is absolutely meaningless if those monsters can't get out of your grip and onto the field. For that reason, it took Windup Magician special summoning monsters from deck and Windup Shark special summoning itself from the hand for the deck to really get notoriety. Before then, it's just an endless conga line of dudes which puts it in contention with every other endless conga line of dudes, except your dudes are much less powerful than your opponent's dudes. But that doesn't mean the deck is unplayable. See, in the first wave, there are two windups that are worth mentioning, Wind Up Soldier and Wind Up Dog. Each of these monsters has functionally the same effect. During your main phase, you can increase their level 2-5, Dog by 2, and Soldier by 1, and that can only be activated once while this card is face up on the field. See, 5 is a really strange number in terms of early Xyz era, because while the 4 pool is very, very shallow, uh, Zen mains and Utopia are the only ones worth mentioning, the 5 tool is robust immediately. You can see we have a copy of Ardreus, Keeper of Armageddon, and Tyrios, Keeper of Genesis. Even without Wind Up Zen Mayo, which would be released later, these cards were exceptionally powerful. And as a result, rank 5 spamming was something that you could consider when deck building. When it comes to doing that, the windups are actually pretty powerful, not only being a 5 on their own, but searching more of them off the factory for subsequent turns. So, what we've got in front of us is a very powerful rank 5 spam strategy. Yes, it's playing the windups in Soldier and Dog, it's also playing Juggler, which is decent. It's like a kind of a bad construct, but it's also playing some very good cards. Uh, the five-star Quick Draw Synchron can be used either as Xyz material or alongside Volcanic Shell in order to do Drill Warrior stuff. Cyber Dragon is a five, as it turns out, and we also have the ability to activate Instant Fusion at three during this format to summon Cybersaurus to make material for our Tyrios or our Ardreus. I'll be honest with you, we don't have much of a game plan outside of summoning these Xyz, but at this point in Yu-Gi-Oh's history, that might be enough to win a game on its own. Certainly, it's probably going to be enough to beat whatever Alex is bringing to the table. So with that, let's get into the card by card. We've got two Trigodia, three Cyber Dragon, three Wind-Up Soldier, three Wind-Up Dog, three Wind-Up Juggler, two Quick Draw Synchron, one Unknown Synchron, 
this card's really good. If only your opponent controls a monster, you can special summon this card from your hand. If your other summon is a four or five modular, if you control something like a soldier, you can summon a Cataster or a Brianac, which turns out is pretty strong. One glow up bulb, triple volcanic shell to pair with the double quick draw synchron, dark hole, monster reborn, heavy storm, pot of avarice, reinforcement of the army, double MST, double forbidden lance, triple instant fusion, triple tuning. We can get the unknown synchron off this as well. Triple wind up factory and a torrential tribute in the side because we have no traps. We're on Royal Decree, we're on Maxi, we're on Effect Veiler, we're on Crow, we are on Thunder King Ryo, and we're on Leeching the Light in the extra. We are on Darkfire Dragon, Khmer Tech Fortress, Cybersaurus, Double Tyrios, Double Ardreus. These cards are just so absolutely powerful. We basically skipped over them in History of Yu-Gi-Oh, but Tyrios can't be destroyed by card effects. Um, and at the end of the battle phase, if it attacked or was attacked, you can target a card your opponent controls and destroy it. Every end phase, you have to detach an Xyz from this, but it only counts your own, so you've got a couple of turns of her sticking around. Ardreus is immediate advantage. It can destroy a face-up card your opponent controls. We've got Zen Maester, Roach, Scrap Dragon, Junk Destroyer, Drill Warrior, uh, Orient Dragon, Brianak, and Cataster. So with that, let's jump into the games. Okay, so full disclosure, I have never played this deck before, so the likelihood that I'm going to fuck something up this episode is like 99.9%, .9%. but for the most part, the cards are pretty simplistic, and when you read some of these cards, you think, wow, it's kind of shocking that this deck never did anything, and I imagine we're going to end up seeing why that's the case once we actually play this set out. So, introducing Fortune Ladies. The Fortune Ladies are an interesting set of spellcasters that are able to, during every standby phase, increase their cards level by one. So, that's a way that we can modulate our levels to potentially access different cards in our extra deck, whether it's the Synchros or the Xyz package, but they also gain attack points equal to their respective levels, so they slowly get stronger over each individual turn. They also revolve around the Banishing Pile as well. Fortune Lady Light's sort of the main card here, that when it leaves the field by card effect, you can special summon any Fortune Lady monster from your deck. So, what you're able to do is, in tandem with the deck's field spell, Future Visions, each time a monster is normal summon, target that monster, banish it. During the next standby phase of the player who controlled that monster, return it to the field in face-up attack position. So, ideally, if you open these two, you can activate Future Visions, summon Light, banish Light, and you can then immediately trigger her to get any one of your Fortune Ladies out of the deck. You could go for something like Dark to get a big monster, Blue to possibly draw cards if you control another Fortune Lady besides another uh, Blue, or you can get the Wind one as well, which can actually pop spells and traps. The problem is you have to normal this one, so that's kind of annoying. But in any case, it's kind of neat because when you look at the deck's draw card, Fortune's Future, which is not once per turn, target one of your banished Fortune Lady monsters, return it to the graveyard, then draw two cards. So this is a great way to just keep up on cards, and uh, hopefully it sort of all works out all together. So we have a couple of copies of Battle Fader because I imagine it's very easy for this deck to lose, so we need this in our deck. Dimensional Alchemist is kind of neat. Typically, we see this in like the Chaos decks, but I like the synergy because if you hit one of your Fortune Ladies, you then can use Fortune's Future to turn that into you possibly drawing cards, and if Dimensional Alchemist leaves, you can get any banished monster and add it to your hand anyway, which a lot of the Fortune Ladies might be in that position, so you have some cool interaction there. We've got two Effect Veiler, and then we have the other Fortune Ladies. Dark is actually insane. If you guys watch Sealed Showdown, you know how good this card is, at least in Sealed. This is constructed, so this is very different, but it's 2,000 attack base stats, and when a face of Fortune Lady monster you control destroys an opponent's monster by battle and sends it to the graveyard, you can select and special summon a Fortune Lady monster from your graveyard. So this is neat because it allows you to get cards back onto the field. You can special summon something like Water, which when special summoned, while you control Fortune Lady, accept another copy of Water, draw two cards. That's also not a hard once per turn. That's a soft once per turn. So you can abuse this multiple times with multiple different cards. And Wind on Normal Summon can destroy spells or traps equal to the number of face-up Fortune Ladies you control. So that's a nice little way to deal with opposing back row. We also have two Gen X Ally Birdman because this is a cool way to recycle some of the effects of our cards and also gives us tuner access as well very easily. We've got two Maxi and two Tragodia because these cards are actually good. Then for the spells, we have Allure, Dark Hole, Triple Fortune's Future because why not? It says draw two. Triple Future Visions because the deck sort of revolves around it. It's also neat because you're able to, with Future Visions, really deter your opponent from being able to just get board presence because anything they normal is going to get banished immediately. And so maybe that'll come up in this set. Heavy Storm, Double Instant Fusion, great way to just be able to go into our extra deck very easily. Monster Reborn, MST, and Triple Upstart. And then we have Double Call, the Haunted, rounding out our trap. So we don't have a side deck, but for the extra, we do have two Cyber Source to go with the two Instant Fusion. We can use this for Synchro Axis or Xyz Axis in the form of Adrius or Tyrus. We have Ally of Justice Cataster. Ancient Fairy Dragon could be relevant because we're playing a field spell. We have Arcanite Magician because they are spellcasters. Armory Arm, Black Rose, Brianac, Colossal Fighter, Scrap Dragon, Stardust Dragon. And then we have another Utopia in the Xyz pool. So I'm excited. I think this is going to be a neat deck to show off. And hopefully we can show how much draw power this deck is really capable of. I think the problem is really just sort of finding ways to close out the game, especially if your levels don't really 
line up properly to go into big synchro. So let's not make you guys wait any longer. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to duel. Joseph, how does it feel for the wheel to be back in history of jank? It feels like it's been months since we've used the wheel. The wheel for history of jank, it just feels right. It just feels like we should definitely insert a level of chaos into our normal playing. Uh, will you get the unplayable deck with no win con? Will I get the unplayable deck with no win con? And what flavor of unplayable deck with no win con will we be playing today? It's very fitting spinning the wheel considering your uh, sleeves of choice today that you are turning the key of your deck's engine uh, <laughs> in a circular fashion to hopefully lead you to a victory to avoid the jank tank. But that will not be the case because I will be victorious. You ready, buddy? I am. And just so you what? know, the wheel I'm turning is the wheel of time because I got Jurak. Let's go ahead and shout the patron. It is every bad opinion about Homestruck is wrong. I know because I am Vriska. I have no idea what that means. Thank Home you for the support. Struck. <laughs> home it's Homestuck, you plebe. Oh, it's Homestuck? I can't even read. But, buddy, I can't even read cards. You're expecting me to read patron names correctly? Oh, anyway, man. sorry. Every bad opinion about Home stuck is wrong. I know because I'm brisk. I'll go ahead and repeat it just so that way they get their money. I, I any appreciate case, it. Uh, Homestuck uh, fan 316. I tell you what, I'm going to do my best to couch as many references in this one as I can. Okay, so here's what's going to happen. I'm going to, since I accidentally uh, just hit you know, rock or scissors by default and just pick to go first. I'm going to roll a die and you can pick if it's odd or even. And if you are correct, I will give you the first play. So what are you going to go with? We're going to go with even. It is odd. Take that, you idiot. My All right, luck I will has been thieved. What do we got here? <laughs> All right. Uh, this looks pretty good. Uh, we'll go ahead and draw. I will start with good old Upstart Goblin. Still with you. Start to see this being popularized. Um, and yeah, I guess we have the God combo here. I'm going to activate Future Visions. Jesus, okay. So this is a weird field spell. Every time a monster is normal summoned, you target that monster and banish it. During the standby, the next standby phase, excuse me, of the player who controlled that monster, return it to the field in face-up attack position. So if I were to hypothetically normal summon this copy of Fortune Lady Light, it immediately gets banished, triggering the effect of my future visions and making it so that Lady Light triggers since she left the field face up, we can use her effect to special summon a fortune lady from our deck. Now, fortunately for you, I don't really have any good targets because fortune ladies suck. So I don't really know like why I'm doing any of this. I think I'm just gonna grab the best one, which is fortune lady dark, set one card and pass to you. Gonna need an MST here, did not get one. Okay. Um. What le this is a level five monster? It is 2000 attack. Wow, yes. that is really, really funny. That is really funny, I'm gonna be <laughs> honest with you. Uh, okay. You've identified the weakness of this deck. Anything that can beat over 2000 attack. <laughs> You know what? I'm going to get a little spicier. We're going to go instant fusion. Okay, I'm down. I'm going to pay a thousand here, and we're going to grab ourselves a copy of Cybersaurus. We're going to go for a rank five here? We are. Uh, we are going to make Ardreus Keeper of Armageddon. It's pretty cool. Okay. I'm going to go for the effect here, and I'm going to pop the future visions. I do have effect veiler for this. Ooh, that is rough. That's really rough. Okay, so we'll go to combat and attempt to attack here. Sadly, this will connect, so I will take 600 and my dark will go to the graveyard. All right, second main, I'm going to activate, or I'm going to normal summon wind up juggler. Uh, this will trigger future visions. See you next turn. Uh, go ahead. Draw for turn. And then in standby, I've got some things to do. So future visions is going to trigger here. Uh, light is going to return to the field. Then I believe, since we're still in the standby phase, Light will trigger and I will be able to raise her level by one. That is correct, yes. Okay, so she's going to go to a level two who now has 400 attack. Very scary, I know. All right, I don't really have a clean answer here, so I'm just going to go to main one. Adrius is just a little too big. And then not to mention you have Juggler coming back, and Juggler is kind of an asshole. Yeah, no, the five uh, pool, despite you know seeing historically little play, is kind of cracked. Ironic. Basically, I think the fact that Fortune Lady Light gained a level is kind of fucking me right now. <laughs> I would have had a way to somewhat answer this, but... You know what's fun is that that is not an optional effect. Yep, it is mandatory, so not much I can do about it. Uh, I honestly think the play is to just put Fortune Lady Light to defense and pass. <laughs> 
All right, I will draw for turn. Standby, wind up juggler returns. Yes, it does. Uh, sure. Ardreus, let's try for the for future visions. Uh, Yeah, you got it. All right, now we can start comboing off. I'll activate wind up factory. That is a pretty good card. I'm going to normal summon wind up dog and activate its effect to increase its level by two and attack by 600. A card that you don't typically see in wind up. Uh, this is like from the first version of wind up, but still not a bad card. Nonetheless, that's fine. Not a bad card here because it's going to trigger my wind up factory. That is true. We're going to use wind up factory to get a copy of wind up soldier from deck to hand. Okay. Then let's just go to combat. Sure. Uh, we'll send the 1700 wind up juggler in. Okay. Fortune lady light goes down. The 1800 wind up dog. Take that. And the 2600 Ardreus. Okay. Didn't expect to get this far. Uh, back to you. We will draw. I'm going to fire another Future Visions. Ah, well, okay. We're going to Call of the Haunted targeting the Dark. That is in my Still grave. with you. Probably should have done this in standby, but mistakes were made. That's fine. So she's level five. I will go ahead and put these here to denote that. Uh, and then we're going to Normal Summon another Light, trigger mm -hmm. the Future Visions so she'll get banished, and that will trigger the Light. And we're going to grab ourselves a copy of Fortune Lady Water. Yeah, here it is. And so since she was Special Summoned off of a Fortune Lady besides herself, I get to draw two cards. I'm also going to think about my position here. I'll keep her in defense. That's fine. Well, we'll start with Upstart Goblin. Let's uh, let's get some more info here. I'll take that thousand. Bounce the water back to my hand for Gen X Ally Birdman. Mm -hmm. Now we're gonna sink these two off for a Scrap Dragon. Still with you. Uh, I'm gonna go Scrap Effect here. I'm gonna target the Call the Haunted that's no longer doing anything. And I think I'm also gonna go after... Factory gives you so much value. I'm not really nervous about anything else you have on the field aside from the juggler but i can just kill the juggler anyway uh i guess i have to take out the juggler then so i'll do that all right may he rest in peace uh like i said i would like to do something about factory but i need to take out the priorities uh i'll go for the dog here i don't think i care about adrius all that much 1600 here right yep and then we'll go track got track that's annoying Okay, uh, that's gonna do it for me, buddy. Go ahead. All right, stand by me. Future Visions is such a poo-poo card. Make sure I banish that bird man before the comments yell at me. Well, shoot. Uh, I will normal wind oh. up soldier. All right, Future Visions trigger. Back to you. On the defensive. Okay, so I'll draw. Mm -hmm. Stand by, I get my light back. Sure. And I guess I'll increase her level by one since I don't have a choice. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to bounce Fortune Lady Light back to hand to Special Summon Birdman. Again, this card is not limited. It is not, not yet anyway. Uh, and we will just normal summon Light again and trigger future visions. Yep. Uh, let's grab ourselves a Dark mm -hmm. off of this one. Um... I think wind only triggers on normal summon, which is kind of frustrating. <laughs> Otherwise, that'd be nice to pop your factory, but uh, that's fine. So Trag is only 1,200 here, correct? Yep. Okay, so he's not too large. And Dark is a level five, so she is at 2,000. Uh, I think I'm just going to go to battle here. I'm going to go Birdman over Trag, and then I'll go Dark over Adrius. And then I'll trigger Fortune Lady Dark, and I can summon another Dark from my graveyard. She does not say she can't summon herself, so that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll go 2,028. And then second main, I'm going to go Scrap Dragon. I'm going to pop Future Visions in Wind Up Factory. Sure. Uh, I'm going to sink Dark and Birdman, who will get banished. And we're going to go for Stardust. And then I will fire an additional Future Visions and pass the turn. All right. Stand by. I'll get my guy back. All right. Uh, what the fuck do we do now then? Uh, let's go Pot of Avarice. That's a sick card to have, sure. Yeah, it would have been sicker if I had five last turn. Right, we'll do this. Wow. That is like the two best it could have been. Okay. Uh, I don't like that. Tuning. That's pretty good. Yeah, <laughs> sure. Uh, we'll get quick draw. Okay. Mill one. Please whiff. Okay. I'm going to special unknown synchron in defense. Okay. I'm going to instant fusion. I'll take a thousand here. That's the third instant fusion. Yeah, sure. Uh, we'll grab the Saurus. Okay. We'll make Bryo. Gonna bounce two, attack over dark. Uh, we will lose to effect, Valor. I do not have Ooh. it. They're out of here. All right, uh, let's try it. I'll take three. 
Oh, that's the whole t- that's the whole hand. So back to you. <laughs> now, unfortunately, I do not also get my uh, fortune lady light back per its effect because this is a new copy of Future Vision. So that's kind of annoying. So this is uh, what the kids like to call not good. I am going to. I guess I will set one card and I will pass it to you. I didn't think I'd get this far. Trust me, I didn't either. <laughs> I'll bounce it. I don't need this dog. <laughs> sure. It's fine. Woo! I have to battle fader this. I was thinking about like oh, just taking man. it because okay. I'm not dead, but 400 is a bit low. Go ahead. All right, please be a sick rip. That is maybe the best rip in my entire deck. Uh, so Fortune's Future, I get to put Fortune Lady Light back to the grave and draw two. And wouldn't you know, I drew absolute shit. I'm in a normal Fortune Lady Water trigger Future Visions. So she'll get banished, and uh, I drew a second Fortune's Future. Fun fact, this is not once per turn. Cool. So we're just going to cycle a bit here. Uh, I have to pass here. I don't know. It's, it's fucking... Sure. <laughs> okay, I'll draw. Uh, there is hope. Fire Instant Fusion. I will grab my own Cybersaurus. I will normal effect failure. Yeah, so I uh, banish Effect Veiler here, and then uh, I'm dead because <laughs> Instant Fusion will kill the Cyber <laughs> Well, I don't think I was supposed to win that one, but here we are. <laughs> So uh, I guess this is the fortune lady experience, uh, getting completely just mind rotted by how much math you have to do with the levels and then losing to your own future visions. That sounds pretty accurate. Uh, yeah, <laughs> my deck looks <laughs> fine and I'm going to do it again. Uh, hopefully I can at least force it to game three here, but looking at the contents of my hand, I do not even think that's possible. Good luck, buddy. You too. I'm going to elect to not to immediately lose the game. I will just pass. I thought you said you were electing not to. This is me electing not to lose the game immediately. Uh, well, okay. Uh, we got gores or something. Uh, let's go tuning. All will be known in due time, buddy. All will be known in due time. Mm, we're gonna mill one. Oh, yep. That's not what I was hoping for. Uh, let's send wind up dog to the graveyard to quick summon draw. quick draw synchron. Sure. Let's future fusion. Instant okay. fusion. It's instant fusion. Not the same card. Uh, we'll summon cybersaurus. Go for rank five again. Going yep. for uh, Tyrus, perhaps? We are. Tyrus time. I'm going to normal jugs. Okay. Combat. Bup, 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 uh, let's go Tyros direct. 26. Anything here? Nope. Okay, 17. Hmm. <laughs> well, maybe I should have gotten even more aggressive. We'll go to end step. Uh, trigger Tyros's uh, mandatory effect. We will detach the quick draw. I will hope this card does it. Don't think that does it. We'll go to main one. Oh God. I think I just have to do it. Uh, I'm going to instant fusion. All right. I will bring out Cybersaurus. Sure, yeah. I will reborn your quick draw synchro. Wow, you are hard up, but yes, that is fine. I am going to overlay for my own Tyrus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, of course, yeah. I'll just go to battle. I'm gonna attack my Tyrus into your Tyrus. They both die here, right? I believe so. And they don't trigger, correct? That is correct. Then second main, I'm gonna normal summon Dimensional Alchemist. <laughs> yeah, sure. I will activate the effect. Uh huh. That's insane. Holy That's pretty good. Crap! That's all right. I'm so good at this game, oh, Joseph. That's a, that's a good one. <laughs> I'm so good at this game. Get a thousand. Yeah, 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 for sure. Oh my god. You think that would have helped? You really think that would have helped? Okay. Uh, so you gain your thousand. So juggler can just destroy this alchemist, which isn't even that good. Uh, I drew three cards and still drew nothing of use. I'm gonna take what? Four to twenty-three. Uh, I am just going to. I'm just gonna set two and pass. Go ahead. Uh, yeah, those cards aren't real. Uh, I'm gonna go to main. Uh, reborn the Tyrios. Sure. Uh, let's uh, go to combat. Tyrios in. I will take 1,300. And Jugs in. 
<sighs> the way I immediately lost the game was a lure of darknessing for uh, no dark. So good thing I didn't cool. do it. Well, had- <laughs> we had fortune's future, double water, and a win. <laughs> All cards that do literally fucking nothing. Do you want to run it back? <laughs> Yeah, I you know, I actually felt like okay about that and then that that hand just was awful. Yeah, let's go to game three. Yeah, I uh I, I punted that last one. There I, I could have made Adrius instead of Tyrus, popped the juggler and then crashed. For some reason I thought Tyrus like could also not be killed in battle, and so that's like that was just like messing with me, but like imagine reading cards. I could true, have also true. just like straight up summoned dimensional alchemist pre-combat and just killed the juggler and let juggler kill the alchemist. And then you at least don't have juggler on the field. You may have still been able to lethal me, but at that point, you know, it is what it is. All right, uh, main one, we'll upstart. Okay, I'll take the uh, thousand here. And I'll activate the card I couldn't activate last game, Allure of Darkness. Yep. Thankfully, I do have a dark, and thankfully, I have a fortune's future to accommodate it. Still in. So we'll put this to grave, we'll draw two more. Uh, we'll upstart again. Okay, uh, I think we have gone through every single draw card in our deck now. I am going to activate Future Visions, your favorite card. I'm going to Normal Summon Fortune Lady Water, trigger Visions so she gets banished. Sure. And then I'll Fortune's Future again. Okay. You've now drawn 14 cards this turn. That is correct. And uh, that's the end of my turn. Go ahead. Cool. Uh, stand by me. Oh my god, this is so funny. Uh, we're gonna go quick draw. Uh, I will chain Maxi. Oh, come on. I need to draw more cards. Alright, uh, we'll go shell here. Sure. Uh, I'm gonna normal shell. Trigger future visions, gets banished. And I will lance my shell. Ooh, okay. Protect it from the future visions, that's pretty neat. So, we will go drill warrior here. We are playing this card. I will draw a card. We'll go shell. Sure. I'll pay five. Uh, and then, you know, uh, combat. I do have Battle Fader. Sure. Uh, second main, I'm gonna tag out. Uh, yeah, that's fine. See ya. Who needs future visions? You can just tag him out on your own. <laughs> if I, right, if I could normal summon this guy, I would. I think the extent of my play is me sacking off Battle Fader for dark, and I'll trigger future visions to get it banished. Yep. And I will set one and just throw it back. All right, stand by our special back drill warrior. Sure, battle fader is also banished per its effect. Main one. Uh, I'm gonna reborn targeting. Oh god, you could have called set. I'm gonna target dark. Gonna target dark. I think just to blank your reborn, I have to. Yeah. All right. Uh, I'm gonna go. Oh, I gotta get a guy back here. I was about uh, to say, did you ever add your monster whoops. back? Uh, we'll just go combat. Yeah. So I'll just take four from this. Uh. Second main, we'll tag him out. Uh, I'm going to normal a soldier as well. And he'll get banished on future visions. Standby, dark returns. Its level increases, so it's now a 24. And I'll go to main phase one here. Uh, so soldier's going to come back as well as drill warrior. Can I do anything about that? Uh, I'm going to reborn target water. Water effect to draw two. All right, I've got a million cards in hand and like nothing I can do with them. Uh, I'll normal light, trigger future visions, banish, trigger light. I can go for another blue here. Uh, she is a soft once per turn, so I can do this again. Mm -hmm. uh, this is just kind of crazy that I have this many cards in hand and I literally can't do anything. All right, uh, so they are 12s. I'm gonna get your thing back. Uh, that's quite funny. Maybe I should do that. Yeah, I'm down. Fuck it. I already lost. Uh, I'm going to bounce water to hand to summon Birdman. I'm going to sink. can sink some damage in here. This would be, what, 14, 24, 12? I think that's more than I would deal regardless. Yeah, we'll do this. Uh, I'm going to go water Birdman for Ancient Fairy Dragon. <laughs> yeah, sure. Uh, we're going to pop Future Visions, gain a 1,000, and add a field spell. Sure. So we'll deny you of the warrior. Obviously, Drill Warrior still comes back, but that's fine. Uh, and then I will... I just gotta put that in attack, but that's fine. I'll just go to battle. I'll hit you for 24. Uh, second main, I'll fire another Future Visions, and I have way too many fucking cards in my hand, so I have to discard it end phase here. So I'm gonna get rid of Dimensional Alchemist and Fortune Lady water and i will throw it back to you okay uh standby will bring everybody back 
Just the drill warrior. You do not get the wind-up soldier. But I want him. Uh, I think I am dead here. Uh, let's normal wind-up dog. I'll get banished on future visions. Uh, she's a 24. I got to crash or else I am going to... Oh, who do I get back? God, nothing. None of these do anything. Uh, we'll crash the uh, the dark here. Sure. Because I can't kill her next turn. All right. I hope I'm not dead here. Uh, we'll draw. Don't think you are, unfortunately. Uh, normal light, trigger light. We'll grab the last target in my deck, which is dark. Yep. And uh, Drill Warrior's gone now. You're going to get the dog back. I really don't think I care. Uh, sadly, I don't think I can do lethal damage here. I can do, what is this, 41? Sure. And that's it, I guess. Oh, this is quite funny. Uh, I'll Fairy Dragon again. Oh, come on! <laughs> I was like, damn, this isn't like on summit or anything. This is pretty sick. All right, go ahead. And that is going to do it. It's factory, factory dog. You're just looking for a way to trigger the factories? No, I just needed a way to get to a five so I could Ardreus. <laughs> you banished all my normals. Okay, I get the deck. I see what's going on here. Yeah, I do too. Uh, I just hit done siding just so we can show off some cards in the yeah, deck. Yeah. But... Uh, Honestly, that third game, that, that was pretty impressive. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> yeah, so that's kind of always been fortune, uh, Fortune's problem. Uh, I mean, Water is an unbelievable card. Uh, their draw spells are just pushed to hell. Uh, if you yep. draw them in the right sequence, I mean, you drew over the course of a three-turn game. Yeah, you were down to, what, 16 cards in deck, and you'd summoned every Fortune Lady out of there. Yep. Uh, which is it incredible. Unbelievable. However. As you, as, as you mentioned, if you draw them in the incorrect order, my yep. hand game two was, if I remember correctly... Uh, Allure of Darkness, yep. Instant Fusion, yep. Double Fortune, whatever the draw two one is by returning one banished back to Grave, and uh, Water, and another card that just did absolutely... I think Reborn was the sixth card. So there was literally nothing I could do, and thankfully you detached uh, a quick draw synchron so I could make my own rank five. I still think I was losing that game anyway because I just needed... if As soon as I got a way to get a Fortune Lady into the banished pile then I was going to be off to the races. But you need, basically, Future Visions is your primary way of doing that. And if you don't have Future Visions, like, good fucking luck. It's just never going to happen. It's kind of weird because uh, Future Visions is just so good against my deck in particular. I really like this deck. Uh, I, people were experimenting with windups as early as the first release of cards. Um, but what you saw in this game was the reason why it really didn't catch on until we got a shark and a magician. And that's that the deck really doesn't have a lot of ways to get special summoned monsters out onto the yes. field. Here would have blanked the future visions, but usually, uh, you just don't have the time to like normal a guy and hope that it survives. Juggler is a decent deterrent, right? Like maybe they yes. won't attack it because he pops a monster. Uh, but mm -hmm. what you're trying to do, obviously, is hit dog, hit soldier, and then the tools to make rank fives in this uh, set are just unbelievable. Uh, Instant Fusion, of course. Uh, Cyber Dragon, of course. Uh, you get yep. to play Quick Draw Synchron because it's a five and incidentally get to do, like, Quick Draw Volcanic stuff as well. I do mm -hmm. really like this strategy, and the payoffs are there. Like, a dog and a soldier that have both activated their effects go into an Ardreus at a time when the Xyz pool is pretty middling. We don't even have a good four yet. Uh, no. So I do think that this deck does have legs, uh, but I mean, it, as you saw in game three, if you get high rolled on, which decks were very capable of doing during this period, I would usually just get run over. There's just not a lot yeah, you can do. Your deck seemed very fair by like competitive standards, because think about yeah. like what decks are running around at this time in like what, late 2011, early 2012. I mean, it, the fact you can't really just hope that Cyber Dragon Normal Summon really gets you there or like one rank five is going to do it. The other decks just have way more options. I do like with my deck randomly that Dimensional Alchemist is played in it because you're hoping so you funny. banish a fortune lady just because A, it's good value, but B, then it triggers the effect and gets like all of your other cards online. So I think that synergy is pretty nice. But uh, yeah, I, I can see why the fortune ladies just really struggled. But like the cards, you read them and you think, damn, all the draw power, not once per turn, and the ability to just modulate the levels so that you can access different variety of cards in the synchro and exceeds pool. It's tempting. It's there. Just sadly, I just don't think it's good enough, which is why we saved both of these decks for jank. But I actually think this was like a good match for what it's worth.
So guys, that's gonna wrap it up for another video. I really hope you all enjoyed. Let's go ahead and shout out the patrons for all of their continued support. So shout out to Shadow1317, Moto, Tim 0 x 3 Cameron Smith, MBT Play Medulce, Chaotic Meatball Par 2, Pony Stark, Synchro Guy, Dan the Manhoban, I Ship MBT and Simo, Draconic Rock Slide, Phoenix the Immortal, Jordan Coons, Iron Bladesman, Jesse Wood, Chris Hood, David Liu, Dylan Hunter, Cody Bretz, John Two Based, Extremely Vulgar Man, Brody Eastwood, Zerius Business, Carlos DT, Flannel Daddy, MBT Caught Injecting His Fairy Lily, Hornet TC Gaming, Valen Jack. And thanks for the sleeves, Dad. Orange, you glad I didn't say Alpha Tribute Ben 10. Matthew Brady, Max, Twinkle Muncher, Eater of Crayons, Lou Bon, Yoda Bon, Helios 515, the anti big brain Ben K OTK play, MBT funding the Irish with his Rothschild wealth, that's his Roth IRA, Simping for Simo, Stolfin Amethyst, Nicholas Carpenter, Simo's Harem of Sexy Yugi Tubers, LGM BTQ, Nim Noodle, Mallow Branch of the Burning Tunnels, Stella and Zoe Vermilion, Wonder Waffle, James Keen. Skull Servant and the Wandering Doomed are boyfriends. MBT cancel by all community soon. Cancel by all community soon. Cancel by all players soon. Dalton not reading cards makes the game interesting and you know it. The Undertaker versus Simo and MBT. Wait, play the concert video one more time. Cayman CJ, Hunter Reed, Shrugs IX, the Crystal Beast Enthusiast, ITF, Dark Echo, Corvain, Jake1776, 